As a life coach and counselor, speaker, and author for so many years, I'm sure that many other counselors and therapists and life coaches recognize a pattern when they're dealing with their clients. And that is that many times people are in a toxic relationship or they're in a toxic environment in their uh, home, their job, their church, their organization, and they don't, they think it's normal. They think it's normal the way they're being treated. And one of the profiles, one of the archetypes is the person that's a narcissist. If you're dealing with a narcissist, you're loving a narcissist, you're parenting a narcissist, you're befriending a narcissist, you have a leader that's a narcissist, there are two things that will let you know that they are a narcissist. The first thing is they have to always, hear me, they have to always be right. They have to be perfect. They cannot be criticized. Uh, they never say, I'm sorry. They have to be the hero or the shero, the one that saves the day. They have all the answers. They know what to do and they minimize you. They minimize your talents. They silence your voice. You almost become invisible and you're walking around on eggshells because you are never lifted. You are never encouraged. You are never seen. You are never valued. You're never heard because the narcissist has to be number one. They got to be the one. And the opposite of that is a narcissist is someone who has to be the victim. You don't know what they did to me. You don't know what my childhood was like. You don't know how I was treated. Uh, you don't know what I've been through. And you don't know what you're doing to me. You're making me mad. You're making me sad. You're making me lose. You're making me have stress. So they are the victim. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the flip side of a narcissist, someone who never takes responsibility for their choices, for their part in the relationship, for their responsibilities. They never take responsibility. They've got to be the downtrodden, the victim. So I want to share that with you because I'm going to be coming to you in the future with other profiles to be aware of. Um, my... Uh, I don't like to say stepfather, but my bonus dad who raised me and my sisters was an amazing provider. We never wanted for anything. But it wasn't until I got married and left home and saw other family dynamics that I realized that he was an alcoholic. You don't see it when you're in the midst of it. You don't see that you're living with a narcissist. You may not see that you're living with someone who's selfish. You may not see that you're living with someone who's an addict. You may not see it and recognize it right away that you're living with someone that's a liar or a cheater or someone that doesn't respect you or someone that has a bad, bad, dark side. Because when you're immersed in it and you are with it all the time, you live with them, you work with them, <laughs> you know, then you think it's normal. And so that's why it's so difficult for a lot of people to seek counseling and life coaching because they don't think they have a problem. They think it's me. I'm the problem. No, you're not the problem, honey. You're not the problem. It's just that you haven't been aware that you are immersed in a pool of dysfunction and toxicity. And so for anyone that is starting to get those nudges and they're starting to feel like something's not right, I'm, I'm exhausted. I feel stressed. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells. I feel like there's a ceiling. I can't do anything. I can't grow. I'm isolated. Those are signs that you are ready to seek some support and help. Maybe I'll be the one or someone else. I just pray that you will begin to wake up. I pray that you'll begin to recognize the telltale signs that you are in a toxic organization, a toxic relationship parenting a, a toxic child, an adult child, and I see that a lot. Um, this is just your alarm. I'm just ringing the bell that hopefully you'll say, I need to put on the brakes and I need to wake up and I need to get up and I need to get out. Yes, you do. God bless you and be well.